Okay, so we're out in the shooting area, in my area. And I got these uh, steel targets from Bullseye Metal on Amazon.com. It's a 3 8 inch thick AR500. These are 5 inch diameter. This one's an 8 inch diameter. Uh, they're all these like $5 shepherd's hooks that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart or wherever. And uh, I'm going to do some uh, shooting on steel and see how these things go. I'm going to shoot them with a little bit of 9 millimeter. 45 and 10 millimeter and I've got one out there a three inch one uh, I'm gonna shoot that with the uh, 223 AR pistol, so we'll see how it goes All right first up will be the CZ SPO one tactical These are uh, LAX ammo 115 grade 9 millimeter reloads. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, that knocked that right off there. <laughs> Let's go take a look at these plates. <laughs> That's interesting. So, oh, this one has... It's interesting, these ones you can actually see a little more spread. Uh, these are all spray painted. I painted these white. We'll do one more bag here with the uh, SP01. This thing's shooting, this thing's actually hitting quite low. There we go. Damn. Try the Glock. All right, Glock nine millimeter. Shit. I'm a shitty shot. That's what I've learned. All right, we're gonna try this with the uh, FNX 45. These are 230 grade FMJ Fiocchi's. This is hitting low too. There's like one, there's one left in here. Well, that does nothing to that. It doesn't do a whole lot to any of these. They're actually, uh, they hold up real well for the pistol rounds. Let's shoot some 10 millimeter at it. These ones will be PPU, 10 millimeter, uh, 180 grade, the JHP's jacket hollow points.
these are arms core this would be arms core ten millimeter FMJs. Come on. Why am I not hitting that? There we go. Oh, that knocks the little ones right off of there. Oops. Knocking these things around some. <clears throat> yeah, it's taking some abuse. Keeps on ticking. Try and put some. Uh, Two, two, three on that. All right. I'm going to try and put something on that little TD3 incher down there with this. Ah, you know what? I got it. Let's go take a look at it. I just want to see what a 223 will do to this AR500 3/8 inch steel. I have a feeling it's going to leave a slight crater in it. Actually, you know what? Holy smokes. That's That's pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. I could actually uh I could actually continue shooting those. I was actually worried that this Wolf 223 might uh, might leave a dent in some of those, but I think with this 10 and a half inch barrel, just probably not getting the velocity that's capable of doing any damage to a AR500 plate. Let's see if I can hit that again. I doubt it. Close. Yep, got it. Oh, knocked it right off there. <laughs> Let's go take a look at it. It had two more hits on it. I'm not going to try to shoot this at these close ones. I think you're just asking for trouble doing that. You're shooting a 223 at steel, you want to be probably 50 yards. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, there goes one of my shepherd's hooks. <laughs> you got to be shitting me. Yeah, that... Okay, so... This is a indication that a shepherd's hook cannot withstand a 223 round out of a 10 and a half inch barrel at about 40, 50 yards. Okay, I think I'll have a little bit more fun with the 9 millimeter, and then we'll call it good.
All right, shoot the back side of that. What the hell? What was that that went flying off there? <coughs> oh, that's just a piece of a planter or something. All right. We've tested the steel out. Yeah. I think we're good. I'm happy. I'm going to pack up. So, in closing, these held up really well to pistol rounds. No problems at all. Obviously, I mean, as expected, that's what they should do. 9mm, 45, and 10mm. Uh, that's the eight. That's the eight-inch one here. These are the five-inch ones. Not bad. I mean, there's no issues here. These, I think the difference on these with the paint, uh, the splatters. I, I put two coats on these ones because I had actually screwed up the first time. So that might be the difference there. This is the the three-incher that I shot a couple of two two threes at, and little bit of a of a dent in there just ever so slightly can't quite make out that but uh you know that's gonna happen when you're shooting uh 223 even at ar500 if it's if it's within 100 yards i mean you're gonna probably put a little bit of uh little tiny craters in them so that's the uh, sorry just pray you know what for the price these things are great i have no problems with them bullseye metals on amazon.com it was free shipping and uh, I think it was like 20 bucks for six of these three inches uh, like 20 29 dollars for four of these five inches and then like 20 bucks for that eight inch one there so pretty good deal